Hey fam, what's happening? It's always good to see some green right now. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the live. My name is Oscar Ramos. Happy to have you back. Man, we're so happy to be in the office. Really enjoy those vacations, gotta tell you, but very happy to have my first live back. Been posting some videos for you, everybody. Hope you are having an amazing, terrific, what is this? early week everyone well we're, we really like i really like to see this one right now i mean what we're seeing is the beginning of what is it a probably quick pump and dump for some of the outcomes that we're seeing right now as we're seeing you know a couple of you know hours ago even uh, but i mean i like it we like this a lot and we have bitcoin we have crypto.com we have terra luna and then the old terra luna l-u-n-c and some other ones out there that have i mean for sure people are getting wild and getting crazy and it's just exciting you know i mean i think still going on with this bear market that uh, a lot of people are still suffering man and it's tough it's not a not bueno, not really exciting times for uh, the long positions of Bitcoin. But I think one of the things that I've learned a lot is uh, in these times, guys, is when billion—I mean, not billionaires—but let's just go ahead and assume that millionaires are made for sure. Um, if you're gonna be looking, at some of the greatest times for you to change your life with uh, when it comes to crypto and investing, you are looking at these ones, right? So everyone get cozy and don't forget to smash the like button and consider subscribing to the channel welcome welcome back what's going on sniff happy to have you back in the house let's go everybody let's go because it's a nice beautiful day and well we'll still put in some positions on the side buying and selling buying and selling. probably some of you trading left and right <laughs> so it's exciting, let me tell you. I like to see Bitcoin um, still, you know, 32, 31 passing the $31,000. I think this is fantastic for Bitcoin because without Bitcoin, we're not going to do much. I got to tell you, we're not going to do much without Bitcoin, you know, pushing forward. That's why I make that video earlier today. Then we have Kronos, the entire Kronos ecosystem, the Tantera, um, crypto.com ecosystem, right? Which is important uh, for me, for my positions with VVS Finance, MMF, Tectonic, and many more still holding them, even though they're really down, very, very down, everybody, but still holding them. And now, of course, we also have something that people really like, Terra Luna. Now we have two of them. If you were missing, if you really liked them, now you have two and even more. You have classic UST, you have classic LUNC, and now we have the new Terra Luna. And what is like one of the things about Terra Luna right now? Well, that's going to be the airdrops that a lot of people are saying online that they did not receive the right airdrop from Terra Luna. And of course, now the project has come out yesterday and said that there was a mistake. They're fixing it because not everybody got their airdrop correctly from their exchange. And one of the things that I, surprises me, right, is to see that still the community is here. It's pretty cool. Still the community is here. You're seeing right now on the screen. Nice couple of little pumps in the one hour chart. So what are we looking at? And since 3 p.m. right now, we're seeing an increase of uh, at around 14 percent, which is pretty cool. I mean, definitely something that's going to make a lot of people really happy and excited. The reason why is because we want to have this growing. So more people, more community, the excitement never leaves this ship, this boat, right? And one of the things is um, I already made my comment about what is the, my, the truth that I believe about Terra Luna and, and what I think this price can go and... One dollar at this time is going to be really unrealistic per se with the circulating supply that we're looking right now. That's what it is. It's going to be unrealistic, right? You need to bring it down to the billions if you want to have a dollar. If you have a trillion, as soon as you have a trillion, you are out of the game for one dollar during these times. Now, having a... Having a 
bull scenario, a bear, uh, like a bull season that changes things a little bit, but still very difficult. You need to burn a lot of different coins and tokens for that to happen, right? But let me know in the comments, what do you think? Of course, if you think it's going to happen, yes or no. BGX Boyer has been killing it today. Well, I'm pretty happy to see that because I do own some BGX for sure. Crow to the moon, of course. Crypto.com is one that um, steady, steady. You know, I bought some Crypto.com, 200 something dollars of Crypto.com just a couple hours ago. I'm happy about it because I have positions on Crow at 35 cents, 30 cents, 20 something cents. And finally, of course, at less than 20 cents. And my strategy is today, I mean, weekly trade crypto.com because I, I mean, I know the cryptocurrency and I think as long as I keep buying a dollar cost average, later on it's going to come up and I'm going to sell at a profit. When it comes to other ones like Terra Luna, well, things change a little bit because you have to be much closer looking at what's happening on a day to day basis. So, Welcome, everybody. What's happening? Happy to have you back. And let's go ahead and hear for Tuesday Night Live. How do we like that? I like that a lot, everybody. So far, in the last upcoming minutes, you know, we're seeing Terra Luna Classic LUNC pumping, which is good. Like to see things pump. How about that? I do own, I still have some Luna Classic on Gemini and what? what is it? Coinbase Pro. Didn't receive anything, of course. And let me show you what probably qual doesn't qualify me, right? I will receive this um, announcement 13 hours ago from Binance saying that staking completes the first phase of Terra 2.0 Luna airdrop, right? The distribution to Luna old and UST old, the classic ones, lock staking users on Binance because we've heard from Terra you know, Terra Luna, that the airdrop recipients are aware that some have received less Luna and some people haven't received any Luna. But one of the things is that the detailed airdrop rules for Binance, at least, is that the category goes to the pre-attacked, right? And the asset holders, they all Luna and Anchor UST. So back in the day, I did not have this. And of course, that pretty much tells me that I'm not going to receive anything in my case. There's a lot of people who will, by the way. And what are they going to receive? Well, they're going to receive a new Terra Luna, right? So I think it's just a game of patience, right? That people are going to be able to wait it out for a couple more days, for a couple more weeks, and they're going to get it. But so far, hey, that's not bad. So far, Terra Luna, we're looking at a 17% or more. I like it. It's pretty good. Airdrops and, I mean, Terra Luna coming up. I'm sure that there's going to be a lot of people pretty happy right now. In the last, let me go ahead and take a look at it. I mean, today is the 31st, last day of May, uh, which is insane. This has been a crazy month, by the way. Some people saying never touching Luna. You know, <laughs> that was that was me back in the day when I uh, didn't have any Luna. Then all, all of this happened, occurred, started buying like at around $30. And well, you know the rest of this story. Uh, pretty, pretty much lost that money, right? Uh, happy to say that that wasn't a lot of money, but uh, learning experience for sure, learning experience. I think now if there's one that I'm looking to acquire some, it's going to be a little bit of this one and more of this one, which is, going, which is actually the new Terra Luna. Here's the new Terra Luna, um, the one that I'm seeing here on KuCoin, here on Trading View, everybody. At eight dollars and five cents, that's fifty cents. That's what we're seeing right now. And I like how KuCoin, right? Because I've used this one for a long time. I've used this one, and they just change pause it, and it changed to the new one. So we're seeing right now on the screen the new price for Terra Luna and the old price for LUNC Classic. Pretty exciting things, right? But this is the one that a lot of people kind of like are expecting for it to grow because of the burns and because of, you know, what they're trying to do with the entire protocol. Cheers to that. Mm. Don't forget to smash the like button, everybody, to help out the stream, to bring more people here in the house and have a great conversation with us. I appreciate that a lot. What's going on, Quinn? Happy to see you here. Happy to see you here. So that's for 
you know, just the start of this Luna conversation. Got a lot more to say, but just wanted to, you know, give you the outlook of what the price is. If you have any questions, just let me know in the comments right now. We're having a nice conversation right here with all of us guys. Um, one of the main stories uh, for me to tell you guys is what's happening right now with Bitcoin as well. Because, I mean, seven weeks of straight losses and finally our first week of nice big gains. I think that is good. Big gains, call it like that. If we do from here all the way here, that's going to be like around 12% you're seeing right now on the screen. 12% growth for Bitcoin. So basically means that all the altcoins and Bitcoin stop dropping. Uh, the major altcoins because some of the meme coins they continue dropping because they don't have anything else to hold on to right but on this one it's doing well i think from now from here to this point all the way to the 200 moving average that is around that's closely to a 30 percent drop a 30 percent drop that there's such still a chance that we can get it um one of the reasons that I still keep some money on this side just in case we see this terrible scenario because I mean terrible scenario for a lot of people that are buying right now for sure but uh for people that are still believing that we're gonna have a much deeper outlook for the entire you know ecosystem that's another thing however knowing how we're just really nicely holding and not passing not breaking that support it just did twice but not anymore in this last week which was this one at around twenty eight thousand. that makes a lot of bulls come back and say you know probably this was the bottom and now we're kind of pretty much gonna go up from here and as soon as bulls start realizing that what's gonna end up happening is for a lot of altcoins like crypto.com it's just gonna bring the, the enthusiasm much higher much higher right let me show you what do i mean as well right here i think this is an example of what's happening in the market right now first and foremost what out of all this is just doing amazing cardano cardano is just on a rampage right now for the last seven days cardano 20 percent haven't seen anyone you know no, there are not many out there with 20% gain. That has put Cardano way above Solana and XRP. That is amazing. That's really good. That's really good, everybody. And then we continue doing here on this one. We have Leo. We have this one, Stellar. And what do we have here? As I'm scrolling in the top 50, Oh, here you go, Helium, which is another one that I own, Helium, which I'm pretty excited because Helium was totally destroyed uh, from the $60, $50 all the way to less than 7 It was really tough for Helium, not 25% up, which is pretty good. The community is growing and waves as well, 50% up in the last two, seven days. That is really good. So having Bitcoin, right? doing and putting some great numbers that we're seeing right now remember this is not even this is not even a bull season that i mean having bitcoin doing that it's creating enthusiasm in the markets and that's what we like to see that's really what we like to see i want to see that because then you start adding some um positions that you weren't able to add because you wanted to see a bottom in the markets will algo pump yes it will Check Luna 2.0. I have it right here, my friend. Alan, what's going on, man? I have it right here at $8. Who owns Luna 2.0? I'm going to go ahead and ask a question to the community. Welcome, welcome. As we're seeing right now, somebody that's just not making the big moves right now, which that'll be LUNC. Which one do you own the new Luna? Boom. <clears throat> yes, no. Prefer LUNC. Bam. Here you go. Let's see what the community has to say. Welcome, welcome, everybody. Don't forget to smash that beautiful like button, everybody. Let's have more people in the house. Barely starting. Beautiful Tuesday. Beautiful Tuesday here in the house with my community. Love you guys. Thank you so very much. What's going on, Steve? I do us. I have all sold half of my airdrop. Hey, that's great that you got some from your airdrop. That airdrop. That's awesome, man. Let's go, Queen. Of course, Sniff. You buy Luna at thirty-two dollars as well. Hey, brother. 
why not, right? I mean, a hundred dollars Luna, and I was like, I mean, let's go ahead and put a. I think I did a hundred dollars or so at thirty dollars. Come on, that was a great deal. They just drop under one dollar, under one cent, and, and and we're like, well, I think all my money is gone now, right? <laughs> Had an unrealized gain of $20,000. Look at that, man. That is amazing. What's going on, Wayne? Oscar, what's going on? How is the Kronos blockchain fairing for the future? Wayne, what a beautiful question. And that's something I'm going to cover too here. I'm going to give you a sneak peek. I think the Kronos ecosystem, um, Kronos chain for the future, um, as soon as we start getting out of the mess of the bear market, should be putting some decent numbers in the TVL total value locked just to see the entire integrations and developers come into the space, specifically on Kronos, right? What we saw when Terra Luna dropped and the DeFi, it's more than 20 billion in total value lock dropped. I was actually wondering where will that TVL go, right? And I have it right here, I have it right here. It's right about here. And what we see when we analyze this, the TVL, the DeFi Lemma, we see that guess who got the most gain out of that? That was Ethereum. I was wrong because Kronos did not get as much as I thought. Uh, it was Ethereum because as soon as Terra Luna dropped, Ethereum gained about 10% which is huge for Ethereum, huge for Ethereum, knowing that there's the merch coming up. And I mean, the bullish, the bullish feeling on sentiment on Ethereum is still there. So I like it. I mean, even though Ethereum, it's uh, not as cheap as other ones, right? Still put in great numbers. I own Ethereum. I like Ethereum. It's not that I don't, I dislike Ethereum. Uh, but I mean, of course, we have some of our favorites in on the Kronos ecosystem. And we have to also remember, right? Kronos early no rush there's no reason to hurry the projects because they will take some time and some of them have to go through so much pain uh understanding how bear markets clean uh make this um apocalyptic scenario where you know some projects just get out because it's just too difficult or the community leaves them behind as soon as they start seeing, for example, Tectonic at prices that are just so down and people start losing hope and they start withdrawing their funds and leaving and bashing the project, which that happens all the time, right? I still believe that there's some reason as far as holding some of the projects for their utility um, because specifically it's on borrowing and lending. So I think it's too early to make some judgment like that um not even holding for a year because tectonic has been alive with us not even for a year right so there's still some time that we have to wait in my opinion for us to make a better assessment for that but there you go wayne hope you like that one that was awesome for a lot of people that are watching right now that own l u and c right I think this is makes you much happier now. However, the last time that I made a big purchase for LUNC was at 303. And I do not think 303 is going to happen today, for example. So I think what's happening right now is because of now that it's formally a classic, right? It's formally the old Terra Luna major developers are going to be building in the new Terra Luna. You understand that? So uh, most of the of the developers are now, you know, building on the new platform or where, where Duquan is, where the entire set of community, developer community is. But on this one, it's there. It's, it's a fork. It's a new one. Well, it's the old one, but it's now a new one, a, a new chain, right? Rebranded. This one is mostly for the community and for whatever the community wants to do. And what the community wants and will do on this one is continuously burning, burning and burning the tokens. Because once you do that, technically the price may go up. And at that point, well, that's pretty much what the price will start rising as that is essentially what burning helps with, right? Welcome everybody, what's going on?
So that is what we're seeing right now on the on this occasion, you know, for Terra Luna and for this uh, um, outlook on on what what could happen pretty soon on this one. What's going on, everybody? <clears throat> so this is good. I like this is good. Slowly but surely, you know, that's what happens for some of these projects, man. Got to hold them right. Got to hold them strong because if not, they're going to start leaving your wallet pretty, pretty soon, right? What we're seeing right now on this one, Justin Coinbase, water guru, some of the pretty cool news that I have for you guys, saying listing an asset on the, on the exchange is free and always has been. There's one that is missing for the new Terra Luna, and that's going to be Coinbase. If you come here with me to coin market cap so i mean there's still some couple of cards right that they can keep playing for even more pumps on this one and the new terra luna which is at 2800 which is insane right it's pretty much insane there's no coinbase right here there's binance coinbase coming up pretty soon that's gonna happen right so you can buy it on Kraken, you can buy it on KuCoin, you can buy it on, Bi on Binance, Gate.io, and Coinbase is going to come. Usually, we have the Coinbase effect, so we'll see this, you know, probably pump to somewhere around $10 plus. Dollars. So buying right now, expecting the Coinbase pump shouldn't be a bad idea. Shouldn't be a bad idea. Just understand that it could easily come back down to prices much lower than you found it right exactly what happened to apecoin and to many other different cryptocurrencies out there right just be aware of that, that it can come down really really fast but i uh, gotta be able to sell very at the top on this cryptocurrency specifically terra luna the two of them they're really risky they're really really risky uh these are cryptocurrencies that I wouldn't be personally, I wouldn't be holding or like staking, let's say, holding yes for a short amount of time, but staking, I think it's not worth it yet because there's a lot of things going on, right? And I, any seven or less, 10, less than 10% APY is not going to cut it for me. I need more than that, to be honest. So as soon as I've seen some pumps, I understand why people will want to liquidate them. It just makes total sense. It makes total sense for them. You ready? That is why I'm saying Bitcoin 32,000, everybody. Terra Luna airdrops. Well, they're failing. I mean, they're trying to fix the issues. And of course, Crocoin going to 20 cents. Baby, I'm ready to start selling in the five minute RSI. It's going to be awesome. Crypto Library, everybody. Welcome back. What's going on? Boom. Most people just bought it right now saying no to the new Terra Luna. I mean, I can tell why, right? I can tell why there's still a lot to test. And what people are trying to do right now is, of course, still get on the LUNC one. That's 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 what it is. Hey, Juancho, what's going on? Happy to see you, man. People are pumping the new Luna and KuCoin with a bunch of KuCoin bots. That is actually not a bad uh, idea or... Uh, or, or a statement because you're probably right. I mean, that could happen easily. Um, in these times of a, of a bear market, when we start seeing Bitcoin at these levels, I think the community and the crypto people can do whatever they want to just have an edge, have an edge on anyone and everyone, right? And it happens very quickly, my friends. Welcome, welcome, guys. Don't forget to smash that beautiful like button, both on the survey, on the quick poll that we have right now and we're talking about crypto chilling because these are prices that still are not extremely high we are not in a bear market yet that's something i have to remind myself have to remind myself we're not in a bear market yet look at these prices that are relatively okay are not like devastating down super down to kind of ki kill yourself prices, which I'm just kidding on that statement, of course. But it's just like bear market continues, consolidation continues, not a problem. What's going on, Lasaurus? Let's go, mommy. Happy to see you, my man. Welcome. Oh, baby. So <clears throat> on this one, 30% down on Bitcoin, that's going to put us to the 20 
200 day moving average right now. So I'm going to go ahead and take out my Bollinger Bands. I'm going to take out this one. I'm going to show you guys what we like on the Bitcoin growth curves. So right here on this one, pretty much what it tells me, guys, is some of the bullish bubble medium bubble low bubble growth zones for bitcoin this is very important right we're still hovering under the low bubble zone for bitcoin which is going to be the green zone right there the yellow zone you're seeing it right there that was in 2021 and back in the day we had a touch in the red zone that was 2017 you see that so this one correlates to my rainbow chart where we did not reach the bubble zone on the 2021 all right so what does that mean everybody we're still super under with bitcoin we're still super under once bitcoin reaches this massive red zone that, my friends, I have it. I, I still have it right here. I still have it right here. Once Bitcoin reaches this bubble zone, guys, that is, which it can happen, a 300 plus percent growth. 300, almost 400 percent growth. That will happen eventually in a bull season for Bitcoin. That will happen. And as soon as that happens, you have to sell so fast. And I will sell so fast as soon as we start reaching some of points like this. As soon as we start reaching some of the, you know, levels on, on, on this uh, red zone for Bitcoin, I don't care if I'm missing a couple 40,000, 30,000, I'm selling for safety and I'm out because it's going to come down eventually, right? Just take a look at 2017, how it reached the bubble zone, and then it came down once again to the green zone. By then, the green zone might be around the 40s or 60,000s, 50, 40s, 60,000, right? So as you can tell, the, the curves keep growing diminishing return but it keeps growing and i like that it keeps growing so it makes the price of bitcoin much higher over time right so this very important for you guys to understand this ones right because we're at the bottom of this we're at the bottom we're really 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 early right so that's why a lot of billionaires and millionaires are just buying bitcoin that's that's the only asset they buy uh because most of them already own so much real estate they own everything metals bonds companies so the only thing that makes sense to them is just owning bitcoin right and i know a lot of altcoins sound really attractive but uh if you think i mean you just take a look at it if you buy it at thirty one thousand dollars you're probably gonna be looking at 150 to 120 thousand dollars bitcoin eventually so once we start looking and passing through this green zone which that will put us let me bring this one passing the green zone on this bitcoin logarithmic curve zones this is logarithmic so i like that a lot that's at around fifty thousand dollars bitcoin right love that a lot love that a lot on this one we reach the yellow one. We're looking at all-time high Bitcoin. This is what we, where we started and where we left off in 2021, right? Right here. So Bitcoin already has enough evidence, already has enough great news, already has enough adoption, already has enough many different things to pass the all-time high of $70,000. Already has enough. I believe it. Once we touch the all-time high and pass it, we're probably going to be looking at, at at six figures Bitcoin. And from there, a nice, also nice retracement back, right? So you're not going to be seeing Bitcoin anymore for in the $20,000. Uh, I mean, obviously, probably, yes, along, you know, 2022, just a couple more times. But the 20s, the $30,000, they're probably going to be vanishing pretty quickly. So we got to be 
you know, smart about it. Without Bitcoin, I mean, nothing really makes sense in cryptocurrency, right? Um, when it comes to the price analysis, right? Uh, I think developers and projects are still going to be coming out strong. But uh, when we look at seasons and Bitcoin season and altcoin season, it's very important, you know, to have a strong Bitcoin sentiment and community. And that's still going to happen. Many of the cryptocurrencies are uh, aligned and correlated to Bitcoin and specifically crypto.com per se. So if we understand how we stand the foundation of our cryptocurrency journey with Bitcoin, then you're going to be Gucci. If you own this one with a good, you know, sizable approach, if you don't want to do stocks, if you're like, you know what, I may not, I kind of like bored about stocks. I don't want to do them. Uh, I don't, I want to get out of, you know, the, the wall street market or so. Okay, great. I think Bitcoin will be the best bet for you. And if you say 21, 31,000 is a lot of it. I mean, I'm just showing you right now on the screen, how cheap we are cheap. We are, I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you another one because I love all of this algorithmic, uh, built indicators for Bitcoin. I have the bull market support band. The bull market support band guys here shows me, I mean, kind of it's, it's for bull season type of analysis of Bitcoin, because right now it serves me as, a, as a resistance band too, because we're approaching it. We're approaching it. It serves as a resistance band. So right here is going to be about $38,000. So we haven't been able to cross that yet. Once we cross that, that's going to be significant for the price of Bitcoin. It acts as a resistance instead of a support. If we were above this band, then it will act as a, as a, as a support, but now acts as a resistance, right? So kind of interesting analysis for me. I love it. I love it. So this is what's happening. Still, we have, I'm going to go ahead and delete this for us. From here to here, we're looking at 20%. 20% up from the price right now to here, which is less than going from here to the 200 day moving average. You guys see that right here? There it is. We're looking at the weekly, weekly view, which I love to see the weekly view specifically for the 200 day moving average, right? So it's much less the travel from here to the bull market support band than to the 200 day moving average. Love that a lot. What's going on? Wise. You already set up a KuCoin bot. <laughs> LUNC kind of moving right now. Saludos, Oscar. What's going on? Pre bear. Yes. We're looking at LUNC right here. It's right here, my man. It's right here. I'm looking at it. It's pretty cool. Coming up, coming down, people selling. Like, even though LUNC is super cheap. People are still day trading it. People are still making a lot of money on it. And that is on KuCoin. And yes, you're right. I'm sure there's a lot of bots doing the job right there. CRO recovering well. Nice. Exactly. That's what we hold it. And I buy it for sure. That is one of the ones that I'm not leaving. Got to tell you I'm not leaving. But it all starts from this one right here. The Bitcoin masterpiece, right? Don't forget to smash the like button, everybody, and consider subscribing to the channel. Loving to be here with you guys on a Tuesday evening for the crypto live because what a better time to talk about crypto than now when most of the people who are watching, right, are going to be here when things are back, once we are thriving again and everybody's talking about crypto, because right now there's not many people talking about crypto. Believe me, went out for vacation and nobody asked me, not that they have to, right? But nobody was talking about it. I wasn't hearing anything. There was nothing in the news. There was just nothing. It was just empty. Everybody was talking about, you know, other, other news. But I like it that way, because if you have some money on the side, if you were looking for a time to invest, well, guess what? Good news. This could be a great time. So later on, you're just much better, my friend. You're just much better. The end of the day, the end of the day, right? Um, if you zoom out specifically for Bitcoin, you're going to see some times of drought. It's just moving. Nothing is moving. Everything's down. Despair. If you do it with Crocoin, it's still as well. This is Crocoin, right? For the last month plus, 
we've just been doing nothing on Croco, on CRO. Some of us bought it much higher, me included, and we're still here. Gladly, we're not anywhere close to the nightmare scenario that I drew for crypto.com CRO. The price I drew back in the day was, what, seven to eight cents. And I did all the analysis for you guys. And it was possible if indeed Bitcoin would have dropped all the way to the 20,000, low $20,000. But so far, we're seeing positive numbers. Not in the pumping region where things are getting out of control, but just the fact that we're consolidating and not letting things get much worse, that speaks volumes, guys. But some not the new Luna 2.0. Any thoughts on, on it, Oscar? Still waiting for the airdrop from Crypto.com Prever. That is exactly what a lot of people are waiting for. Uh, um, they posted something on social media on Twitter saying that they were adding the new Luna 2.0. It was a couple hours ago. And um, I, I checked on the comments and people were like, where's my Luna 2.0? <laughs> I want it. Or where's my airdrop? Whatever. And uh, people are still waiting on that. That is exactly what. Here it is, right? Attention, Luna recipients. We're aware of this situation. Some people have, they haven't have received. Some people receive less. They're actively working on a solution. Now, I think you have to know this. Like, everybody knows this. Right now, Luna is in a scenario for the last three weeks that uh, they never anticipated. Still, they're recovering from it. Uh, there's a lot of people trying to offer solutions. There's They're being very vocal, the community, and now uh, they're responding much faster. And Duke Kwon, he's retweeting all the projects that are going to be contributing and de continually developing on the new Terra Luna, which is good. At the end of the day, uh, they still have some money left and they are putting it to work for the community. Not bad at all. So I think my thoughts on the new Terra Luna project is... I mean, they have to come out strong and swinging because the trust factor is really crooked. It's, it's really uh, broken, I, I think, at this point, right? Um, and it will take some time to heal. It will take some time to prove everybody wrong uh, in when it comes to really having a good price for people to get in. That's one thing I, I, I can tell you for sure. That's going to be for the new Terra Luna. Um, but letting this happen during a bear market is never a great selling point because no matter what you do, you're not going to be able to turn your price around by the level that the community wants, desperately needs to recover all the losses that you just made them have. So that's something you have to be aware of. So we'll have to wait until the next season comes until this bear season ends. And that might take a while. <laughs> Welcome, everybody. So that is what I think, right? I have some money lost on the on LUNC. I'm, I mean, LUNC will not be back to $32. So that money is gone, cooked, gone in the wind. Uh, but I've learned it's pretty good. When I take a look at how much money other people lost on the, on the LUNC, I mean, mine looks like candy. Uh, it means nothing, right? It's nothing compared to them. Some people lost a lot of money on LUNC on the one that I'm going to show you right now, this one. And and I have it even better here on, on, on KuCoin because here on KuCoin, you're seeing, I'm going to close this one and I'm going to close this one bunch of ads here i hate it um <laughs> this is on kucoin how from here it is 78 dollars or 100 dollars, whatever you want to call it it went crashing in a couple of days just in a couple of days so i bought it right here this was this was like around a day right when it was consolidated for a little bit i'm like okay okay i think we could probably see a comeback by a little bit and then crashing even to a point that it just makes no sense right so that is what happened for a lot of us and we're still here now that is why we have the airdrops because i mean there's just no way some people are going to recover anything it happens a lot it happens a lot 
So, but for Crocoin, right, for some of these other cryptocurrencies that are still in the game and are still surviving, right, and will continue surviving, um, the prices I think at hand that we see is under 20 cents, around 20 cents. And once we have Bitcoin passing $35,000 to a day, I made a video about it. It's not going to be hard. I think it's going to be pretty easy for Bitcoin to pass that $34,000 to $35,000 range. Assuming I just explained right here that at that point, we're still under the bull market support bands. We're going to be putting somewhere around here. So if we have a couple, I will say two to two to three weeks right from now of nice good green candlesticks that shouldn't be a problem and i see that happen i see that happen if we say if we have bitcoin approaching those levels slowly but surely it's not going to happen in a day right? but slowly but surely i think we're going to be seeing thirty-five thousand dollars bitcoin on the horizon and that's going to bring crypto.com back up to 20 plus cents and most of the other cryptocurrencies back up because then fear this is where I bring this one. It's going to start leaving the arena. That's going to be pretty good. Love it. Ah, baby. Let's go ahead and close that beautiful poll right now and see what's up. What's going on, Martin? Crow brothers and sisters, of course. Do you own the new Luna? 61% saying no. 25% saying yes. And 13% prefer the new, te I mean, the old Terra Luna, which that's going to be LUNC. These are cryptocurrencies that are really showing us the true colors of crypto, believe me. And the people that will, that I were hurt the least uh, are the people that just wanted to peace themselves, control their emotions, and at the end, keep buying something that is going to have a much more long-term effect, in that case, Bitcoin, Ethereum, and other different, much stronger altcoins, right? I believe that in times of extreme fear, in times of really extreme fear and panic, people just want to make money, right? Because there's no money to be made um, in cryptocurrency. This is not options where you buy a short, you buy a... Uh, you buy an option for specifically, you know, the price of a, the security, the security to go down. And there, I mean, there you go. You sell it and that's it. You make money. But in cryptocurrency, if a price, it goes down, then really that's not much of a chance to make some money. Right. But that's what's happening right now for the Kronos ecosystem protocols. Are you seeing right now on the screen? MMF, Tectonic, BBS Finance, MMO. But on the, uh, on the contrary, buying it at these levels assures me that whatever the greatest side effect of cryptocurrency, once things are much better, are going to be crushing it on my portfolio. And that's what's going to happen for a lot of us, specifically for me. Once I have my Tectonic, my MMF, my VVS Finance, much better on these levels, everybody. You see? Let's take a look at this at Tectonic right here, for example, guys. Where's the Tectonic fam? All the MMF, the VVS, and so I have one visual for you that I think you guys are gonna like. Let me let me show it to you right now. And it may, makes a lot of sense. Makes a lot of sense. Most held tokens by holders. Guess which one is the number one? VVS finance makes total sense, but you may wonder, well, Oscar, why in the world is VVS finance? If VVS finance has done nothing and MMF is one that is, you know, most kind of like popular among crypto.com Kronos holders, right? Well, the answer, my friends, is that VVS finance is the only one that I know of that really locks you up out of, you know, the top three that I talk about. Um, and you cannot withdraw anything from it. That makes a lot of sense. And that locks the user up so you cannot sell. So you're going to be holding it for just a long, long, long time. In my case, four years. You see? Tectonic is a scam. You can make money on any market. And LUNC is a perfect example. So it's a new opportunity with Luna 2.0. Cheers. What's going on, Prever? So a lot of, of opportunity to make money, absolutely. And I love that, that during these times, people just call everything as 
everything is scam. And well, it's part of the it's a part of that freedom of saying whatever you want, which is good, which is good. Um, I think out of all the cryptocurrencies that I go over with meme coins, even the ones, the utility tokens like this ones um, that are not meme coins, right, but extremely di uh, diluted and and liquidated on the price because of fear that I think once we have a comeback, a lot of people will be surprised for sure because it's a trillion, just a trillion supply. And in a bear market, this is a recipe for absolute total chaos in the in the price. Listen closely to again, because it's a trillion supply and in a bear market, it's just a recipe for market price chaos, right? It does not mean that the project is a scam, but I completely agree if you believe that because the price looks like this. But if you change it to the price on green, I think less people will think of it as an as a scam. If the price is what determines someone to believe something is a scam, then they're looking just at one side of the equation, right? That's what I believe. That's why MMF, although extremely liquidated, although extremely down, it is not a scam. And it still is a good project, in my opinion, but it has to come back. And once it comes back, well, things are going to be much, much better for the entire Chrono space. Because right now, at this time, we had, you know, 5 billion in total value locked on Chronos. Right now, it's two. Here it is. Less than two, even. Here it is at 1.89. So this 1.89 makes total sense putting a Kronos at seven for sure. For sure, which I love it. I love it. So I wanted to show you this one, everybody, because it's pretty cool. I like to see it. VVS Finance, Grab Crow. This one is the one that we get while we stake on MMO, on the MMO optimizer. Love it. MMF. Tectonic, and then we have single, Savannah Finance, and many more. So these are some of the tokens that we have. And I like how, specifically on MMF, even though we have some other cryptocurrencies that are less crop finance, which are total scams, you know, that really harm the entire ecosystem, they were able to pull it out and protecting the Kronos, Kronos holders. Like that a lot, my friend. Like that a lot, for sure. Ah, what do you think about Quant, bro? Don't own any Quant, but thanks for asking. Love that. Thanks for asking. Good news is coming through MMF ecosystem on a daily basis. We found that MMF has flipped Uniswap in the weekly growth rate in volume. Does this news make you more bullish in MMF? Well, when we take a look at the price, um, definitely a lot of people were still looking at the price to consider something as bullish, right? But I also like to see, to take a look at the project and what and what it's doing to consider something as bullish. And that is what Kronos Ecosystem, in my opinion, make me believe, you know, that this is a good long-term project for sure. Although the price looks like this, it's super early. It's super early, so I'm Gucci. No need to rush and what a time to get in by looking at these prices. I mean, for sure, MMF, for example, it was holding really nice, my friends, right here. You know, I mentioned that quite a bit of times. But then it crashed much further. And then now it's once again consolidating right here. So there's fear. There's this lack of trust, lack of faith in DeFi projects because of, you know, what happened on Terra Luna. I get it. If you believe this one has a long-term project, if you do your due diligence, I can tell you, I think it's going to be completely fine. And Harmony is another, good, it's another good one. Thanks for mentioning that. Welcome back, everybody. Hey, don't forget to smash the like beautiful button to have more people in the house. Welcome, guys. Let's go. Nice. That's on Kronos, right? So two nice, important picks from Kronos News that I want to share with you guys. Been pretty exciting news that I like it. It's gonna take a while for sure. It's gonna take a while. It's gonna take a while for DeFi to come back. That's it. I like Ethereum because it's still holding strong. Binance Smart Chain is putting an amazing show, close to 10 billion. So from seven to 10, 
no sorry from position 7 to position 2 on tbl but it's almost 10 billion to 2 billion so we have to 5x this thing on chronos to be at match with binance smart chain you see that the tbl is pretty important my friend it's pretty important and we like it so take a look at this one guys on terra luna talking about bitcoin talking about chronos we talked about a little bit of the terra luna um you know issue with airdrops where well, here it is all the info you must know terra luna airdrop unveiling distributed another failed plan from watcher news we have it so the terra blast team is doing everything to remove themselves from the murky waters and ease terra luna 2.0's performance the ghost of luna classic is still haunting their backs after ust and luna lunc right failed to zero this month so this was in may uh, a terrible accident i will say event that it will be remembered by everyone i mean people are not gonna i'm not gonna forget about this one i guarantee you that the team had planned to airdrop luna tokens to affect the holders during the 2.0 uh, launch of terra luna to compensate for their losses however the terra team airdrop has not gone according to plan and the distribution affected users has been uneven so that's what they've said right here, right? That, you know, some recipients haven't received everything, everything. So it's pretty good. Several Luna investors, several Luna investors. <clears throat> oh, gotcha. No worries. No worries. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. No worries. I'll take care of that, mommy. Thank you. Several Luna investors took to social media airing their problems ab about, you know, not fully receiving their promised airdrop distribution. The Terra team has now acknowledged that there will be airdropping has uneven and tweeted this one, right? The attention, I mean, they're going to be fixing that, which is pretty good. So <laughs> this is an, an, a better new even. Terra Luna 2.0 launches stablecoin. I don't know how good the community is going to trust this one because now that we know the failed attempt of USD, which I mean was really good, twenty percent on Anchor Protocol. I mean, give me that on a U on a stable coin that's gonna be amazing. Uh, but how many people will start now believing on the new Terra Luna 2.0? I mean, there's gonna be some people doing it. I mean, we just did here a poll. Some people are still buying for sure. I think early warm gets you know everything at the end of the day. The bird. In reality, I think I will be always careful with Duquan on this one as well. Reports are doing the rounds of Terra Labs founder. Duquan is planning to launch yet another stablecoin. The stablecoin will, will be built on the 2.0 network. And Duquan is working on the design reveal a user on Twitter. <laughs> what do you guys think on the new stablecoin? So we're going to have it here. Have a Twitter link here. So what do we see? This one is from Fat Man. Verify Insider close to the TFL cast confirmed that Duke One is currently working on design plans for a new decentralized stablecoin that will be built atop Terra 2.0. Fool me once. Yep, that's pretty much what uh, what we're seeing right now. And we'll have to see, you know, all the details on that one. So Luna 2.0 was launched May 28 at a price of $17.8. That's at around the price I saw it, like 16 something dollars. Went to 20, almost $20 and 19. And then it crashed completely right to the $4 at around 80% drop. And right now it did another jump. Here it is at $8. So that's what it's been so far for Terra Luna. The new one, right? Still early. It's at a billion circulating supply. Still early. I mean, wouldn't drop it immediately. And if there's one that I, that I, if I had a lot of money, right, a thousand dollars or so, and I wanted to buy Terra Luna specifically because I just want to see if I can hit the next 10x, um, I wouldn't be buying with that kind of money. This one, the old USD, the old uh, LUNC. I will be getting into the new one just because it's the one that developers are working continuously right now. And the one that I think has the most future because this one will continue staying alive and people will continue to burn it. And there's going to be a lot of volatility. There's going to be a lot of buys and sells right now with a barely, you know, a couple of, 
I know it's, it's a significant growth, even if you do it from here to here. Need to close this once again. This is from the 29th to the 30th. It's 140%. But the price, like, yes, the percentage is great, but the price is doing nothing, right? It's not like we're going to go to one cent or so. It's just at this time, it's really difficult to see that. But on the new Terra Luna, it does seem that, I mean, the price is well, well above $1, which is expected at $1 billion. This one, in my opinion, will have the much better growth long-term path because it's the one that is actively managed right now. What do you guys think? That's what I believe, right? That's what I think. Um, will I continue owning a little bit of, of, of the two of them? I think, why not? Um, not financial advice, of course, but if you're looking into getting into Luna early, I mean, I think this could be your chance because for sure, in much better scenarios, in much better time for entire cryptocurrency market, I do see the two of them rising from the dead, from where they are right now. <laughs> so, I mean, there you guys have it, right? That is what I can tell you today about crypto.com, about Bitcoin, about Terra Luna, which we started this live and it was pumping, doing nice. Now it's coming back up because it's getting liquidated. And then the normal Terra Luna, the new one, it's consolidating right now. So all of these rights are pretty good news knowing that cryptocurrency doing much better than it was a couple days, I mean, a couple weeks ago, right? Where we were under 30,000 Bitcoin, it was down. It was frustrating to see 1.20 trillion or so. But now it's well above 1.30. I like it. And will this be the beginning of something much better? We'll just have to see this upcoming week, everybody. Let's go, everybody. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Don't forget to smash the like button, guys. Consider subscribing to the channel. There's a link at the top of the chat. That's my Patreon page. If you're interested, if you want to come and hang out in my private community, answer all the questions you want and more, join us. I'm waiting for you. And take a look at all the links down below in the description for your free Bitcoin stocks and much more. Oh, baby, it's glad to be back in the office talking to all my fam. Thank you. Thank you very much, everybody, for your kind and awesome support. That's what I wanted to tell you in this live. Pretty nice, straightforward, and excited for what the, for what the <clears throat> future remains and, and has for us when it comes to Bitcoin holders and altcoin holders. We're going to be here for a long time. Everybody better be loading your bags while things are cheap like this. Because once we're up, now I learned you have to liquidate. We have to take profits and we have to get out so we can come back once things are like right now. Do you understand that? Hope you do understand that because uh, you don't want to do it the opposite way. You don't want to do it once big Bitcoin is at all-time highs, Ethereum is at all-time highs, believing that we still have much more to run. You may be right, but chances are at that point, there's much higher chances to drop instead of to go up. <laughs> Everybody, thank you for watching, guys. I'll catch you next time. And uh, thank you for coming so the for the life. And got much more, much, many more videos coming up for you this way. See you next time, everybody. Peace. God bless you all. Thank you, mommy. And thank you, all the friends, the members, the family who just joined the new subscribers. Oh, I'll catch you later, guys. Till next time.